Instagram if you guys follow me at Auto J underscore will be in the description below that all the questions that will be answered in this video today about why I'm doing YouTube and you know just some other stuff so question one with that, that what I was asked was what's the reason why I started YouTube and I started YouTube because you know one day I was just in ninth grade and I was just in my bed chilling and I was watching TJ Hunt, Evan Shanks, um, Adam LZ first because he was he was actually the first one I started watching because I like to watch dress thing, all of that. So this is my 2009 Nissan Altima. Right now, what all I've done is a coder intake and um, a custom built um, exhaust from the resonator and the muffler. So all of that's just all straight pipe and all of that and. My other question is, do you want to have your own garage someday? And if, and if so, will you work on all your cars just a certain type? Um, yeah, I do want to have my own garage. That was actually my dream at first was, so right down the road right here is have my own garage where I could build all cars. Like this car right here, which I call the Beast, you know. She may, she may look tame now, but this right here is the Beast. This right here is where we'll put all cars asleep in the next three years or four years from now, <coughs> excuse me, but yeah, I would like to have my own car, and just, not my own car, but my own garage, sorry, but otherwise from that, I'll work on any type of car, JDM, American Muscle, maybe even some sleeper cars, you never know, but right now, this car is probably, came stock with probably, 150 160 horsepower i'm probably pushing 165 maybe 170. that's maybe that's probably just on my just head tune you feel me but otherwise from that this is just this is practically the car that will post it will mostly be on youtube for me modifying it changing everything putting a body kit on it probably even doing an engine swap maybe even a transmission swap because right now this is automatic i know what you're gonna say i know what you're gonna say automatic ew boo nah it's it's good you know but i do want to learn how to drive manual and that will probably be in the youtube channel that i'm doing now so that will probably be it and other questions were how did you learn so much about cars i learned so much about cars from my dad my uncle and me just sitting down one day and saying dang i really like cars i want to take this seriously and just learning and reading about them like when i was a kid i was always going outside even though i didn't like it i was always going outside to change brakes change tires change the oil and that was probably when i was like eight or nine when my dad was trusting me underneath the car not to play around otherwise from that he also taught me my uncle taught me when um when we were working in the garage on his truck i would work on his truck all the time with him i would change a whole bunch of stuff that i didn't even know about i didn't even know that there was such thing as a turbo diesel at that age i just thought the whistling sound was just mean it was just a truck that's what all trucks do but at that time I was just learning, getting the hang of it. I knew the names of tools, so he would ask me for it. I would go in, I'd ask him, oh, what's this, what's that, what's that? What's the control arm, what's this? How do you change How do you change the door without, you know, taking off the whole car apart? And he taught me that. Other question was, what, what are your plans with your car in the future? Do you want to keep the car or get another one and fix it up? Honestly, I do love this car, it is. Uh, this this right here is my first car for about two and a half years now. I got it my junior year of high school, and right now I'm going into my sophomore year of college. So really, my plans for this car are out of this world. I want to do anything, everything possible so that when I'm driving on the street, I can catch your eye from the start. And yes, I do want to have another car because my ultimate car for me to buy right now is a Subaru BRZ because that's what I love. And yes, in retrospect that yeah, this car may be front wheel drive, it may be slow, but any car that you buy first is always gonna start off slow. So that's why you have to put the work, the wrench time, everything into it so that you can fix this up, make it become the sleeper on the street, the beast on the street as she's named, or anything that you think is possible. And another question is, um, 
can you modify like this car to the um to the to the amount that you want it to be i say yeah i think i could do it because i have the idea in my head i'll put in the work i'll put in the money to do what i need to do because my dream for this car since it's a front wheel drive to build the first real real drive a nissan altima but a lot of people but a lot of people has been telling me no it's not gonna happen it won't do it everything will be messed up and i said no if i if i think i can do it i think i can do it you feel me yeah and then some other questions that my friends in Pennsylvania have that, um, that told me to ask you was, um, what made me start this channel? I think I already covered that, but I'll do it again. But the reason why I started this channel is because I just wanted to, you know, put my face out there. Everybody's doing it. I didn't want to be like everybody, do comedy, do this, do that. I want to do something that I love. I'll do cars, fixing cars, just doing simple stuff on this car here because there's not much there's not a lot of those videos out there for me to you know be like oh I can do this I can do that like the other day I just had my axle break on me I didn't know how to do that at all so I bought the axle I went on YouTube there's probably one or two slight videos of the people doing the axle build and that's all but at the end of the day I was like all right I'm gonna do what I have to do even without any guidance so I took off the wheel, took out everything, fixed the axle by myself, and I actually learned from that because before I didn't know, but now I knew, and I was like, dang, if I really started my YouTube now, I could have showed people with this car that, like, just hate the axle and see that it's not that hard, and a guide-by-guide -guide instruction, even though that's not how it is. And my other question was, um, am I going to do vlogs? Yes, I am going to do vlogs, but the vlogs will probably be containing of me probably going to car meets from Bangkok, shout out to Bangkok, and like just other stuff, probably fixing my car, probably out with my friends, you know, just driving on the streets, showing off our cars, maybe even just doing just flybys of everything, maybe even possibly going to Tuner Evo maybe next year because I missed mine this year. know also in this video at the end of the video I want to show you guys that what I've done to the car so like right now I'm gonna start up the beast and show you like what I just did to it how it sounds and if you want to do it I'll just put the I'll just put the link in the description to the people that I went to to go fix it because there's not really too much places or car companies that make exhaust for this type of car you know it's sad but at the end of the day it is what it is so I'll start up speaking. not really a true cold start but right now this is the car like kind of warm because i drove it over here from my house but i'm sorry if i'm a little sweaty it's you know kind of hot at 40 film but you know this is just what the car sound like it's kind of quiet but you can still you know hear the crowd that's when it's turning on and like other stuff but i'll give it a couple breaths for you Hey. Okay. 